The Arch was honoured for a lifetime of leadership for justice, reconciliation and peace. Speaking at a press conference earlier, he expressed his sadness at the Ugandan legislation. What I think has been happening is that where these guys are faced with intractable problems, they look for something that seems to be uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, and, 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 and they are undermining the humanity of their victims. But as we've seen in South Africa, they are in that process undermining their own humanity. And one just wants to appeal to them, for goodness sake, find something else to fight over. Ambassador Rasul, who with his wife Rasida Shabuddin were honored for their work in equality and human rights, said it was important to condemn bigotry in Africa. It's important that we must condemn bigotry in Africa and do it at source where legislators are busy formulating bigoted legislation. But I also think that we can't afford, if we can stop funds for terrorism from the United States, we can stop funds for bigotry because that's what's fueling it um, from, from, from this part of the world. Filmmaker Anand Singh was honored for advancing social justice through film, while Avon Cosmetics was lauded for its investments in the country. Shared Interest is a non-profit fund that has benefited more than two million black South Africans over the past two decades. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.